Hey what's up guys, Scamfeef here and welcome to this Inform Eric Lamella review. Now this is one of the cheaper Informs from this week's Team of the Week so hopefully I won't lose many coins on this one. Now, Eric Lamella has a pretty interesting looking card. 81 pace, 80 shooting, 80 passing and 85 dribbling. Some decent attributes on the card but he does have a 2 star weak foot and he's left footed on the right side. So just from looking at the player bio, you can already tell there are a few negatives about this card. But nevertheless, we will move on. In six games, Lamella scored three times and got two assists. Now let's move on to the in-game stats and we'll talk about Lamella a little bit more. He's got 52 strength, which is very freaking weak. And this guy does get pushed around quite a bit. So if you are going to use him, use the dribbling to your advantage and keep away from defenders. Talking of dribbling, 88 dribbling on this inform Lamella card. That is definitely the best thing about this inform, in my opinion. He's so freaking good on the ball. Some of the standout attributes include the 85 long shots, which is pretty awesome, 76 dribbling, which is decent for a winger, and the 83 shot power, which I don't actually agree with. Now, I say this because when I was shooting with Lamella, he was either very accurate and the shot wasn't very powerful, or the shot was very powerful and not very accurate. Let's come away from the shooting for now and talk about some of his passing stats. Now, he is actually a pretty good passer of the ball. On that left foot and his crossing is uh, pretty good, to be fair, but... He's left footed on the right side, so he's not ideal for crossing unless you want to get down the wing and cut back. Obviously, in game you could use the switch wing tactic to use Lamella on the left. However, for the sake of this review, let's focus on his card's position, which is located on the right. So with him being on the right side and left footed, crossing can be a bit of an issue if you can't cut back. However, shooting is not cutting inside and using that finesse can be pretty damn useful. So make sure you do that if you pick up this inform Lamella card. One thing we haven't really touched on yet in this review is his dribbling. His dribbling is incredible, really good ball control, and uh, he's so agile on the ball. He's really, really fun to dribble at defenders with, although you have got to keep your distance because he is very weak and can easily just get knocked off the ball. Lamella has around 50 strength and around 70 balance, so as you can probably imagine, hits the deck quite a lot. Which, I won't lie, is pretty frustrating. Anyway, let's talk about something else. And one of the things I was really impressed with was this goal here. Look at this. His finishing, I actually wasn't too impressed with. But look at this for a finish. Right-footed strike. I know it's a pretty sweaty goal. But what a finish from Lamella. Keep had absolutely no chance. Anyway, let's summarise this informed Lamella card. Love the fact that his dribbling was great. His curve was pretty good. The four-star skills are obviously pretty useful. And finally, his finesse on that left foot is pretty damn good too. Negatively, strength. This guy gets shoved off the ball very, very easily, so you've got to use that dribble into your advantage. The two-star weak foot, in my opinion, on a winger is an absolute nightmare, especially with him being left-footed on the right side. And then finally, something I haven't touched upon yet, his stamina. Every game I used Lamella in, by the second half, he was absolutely knackered and could barely sprint. Anyway, as you can see, I have given Eric Lamella's inform a 7.8 out of 10. Now, that may seem a bit harsh, but to be honest, I just couldn't get to grips with this guy no matter what I did, and that was a bit frustrating. However, if you are going to use this card, maybe try him out with left forward, then you can get inside a bit easier and use that finesse a bit more to your advantage. So, is this inform Lamella card worth the coins? In my opinion, I'd actually say yes, although I wouldn't pick him up yet, because although he is cheap, his price is still gradually declining. Saying that, I don't think he's too much better than his non inform and there are cheaper alternatives like players like Shakiri that could do a much better job for you. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave the review there. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like. Comment below to play the link to review next. Have a good day. Adios.